Hey, what's going on everybody? Dale Valor here with another MVD exclusive video. All right, so here's the deal, man. You know, one of the things that I see out there is a lot of guys talking about gamer girls, okay? In the sense of, hey man, look, maybe you're a gamer. You're into uh, any kind of video game. You have all the different consoles that you can have and you play on your laptop and on your phone and all these things, but however, the problem is, is that you're you're hearing these girls' voices. You're kind of checking into them. Maybe they're kind of kind of attractive, or maybe you watch on Twitch. Maybe there's different channels that you watch with some uh, beautiful woman in a bikini playing video games, and she has on rabbit ears or something of that nature, right? So here's the deal, man. I think that a lot of guys out there they want to be able to know how to get the attention of these girls, right? So what I did was I compiled uh, some thoughts and wanted to put this video together specifically for you guys, man, because I see that as a being a big need and I wanna be able to give you that information. Now look, I am going to tell you this right off the bat. Me personally, not a gamer, all right? I own zero video game consoles. So the things that I'm about to tell you I have never done, all right? I cannot vouch for their validity, but what I can do is tell you this. I have given these thoughts to other people who are gamers and it has worked out for them, all right? So we're gonna run through it and then you can give it a shot and see how it works for you. And then what you can do is, in the comments, let me know if that worked for you or if it didn't. And if you have some better ideas or some better tips that you think can help guys out, put that in the comments. All right, we're going to hop into it right now. Let's get it. Number one. Don't flirt inside the game, all right? So what I mean by that is this. You're on a team. Maybe there's 30 people on that team. Maybe there's 10. Maybe there's five. Maybe there's 100. I don't know. I guess it probably depends on what kind of game you play and so on and so forth. And you got on your little headset and you're running around doing whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, okay? Now, you're hearing these girls' voices, all right? Now, you can interact with these girls and things like that, but don't flirt with them because what you are likely to do is make them uncomfortable in the sense of they're trying to play a game. They're not on there trying to flirt with you. Now, what I would do is this, get their attention by saying some things about the game that could be insightful, throwing out value, putting things together where uh, maybe it takes a smaller team to get things done, inviting them to be a part of that team and on that mission or raid or whatever it might be. Okay. Now, once that kind of thing happens, you can maybe have a little bit more of a personal conversation, okay? But here's the deal. When you are in the game running around doing what you're doing, don't be trying to like get her number. Don't be trying to flirt with her, all that kind of stuff. Save that for later. We're going to get into how you should do that, all right? We're going to get number two. Let's go. Number two, organize your own team. Now, I kind of talked about this a little bit in the last point, but here's the deal. You know, I know in a lot of these games, you're either a part of a team, you can start your own team, you can do, uh, you know, the, the options are kind of endless, you know, but here's the thing. If you put together your own raiding party or your own team or something like that, and you can invite these girls to come along with you on that rating party or team or whatever it is that you're doing. Now you're the one that's setting the agenda. Now you can talk to them a little bit more directly. Okay. Now maybe there's a chat function that you can only interact with her, you know, and you can start to talk a little bit like, oh, that was a nice shot. Uh, by the way, what's your name? You know, th things like that and start to kick it with her a little bit. Now don't go over the top with it, but Get to know her on a little bit more of a personal level, a little more of an intimate level, bringing her out of that game and somewhat into the real world, okay? So where it's not, you're not in fantasy land anymore, okay? Now, I mean, you're in fantasy land in the sense of you're playing the game, but, you know, when you're communicating with her, you are, in essence, in the real world, okay? Talk about some real world interests outside of video games, you know, things like that get to know her on a little bit more of a personal level. All right, we're gonna get to number three, let's go. 
Hey guys, wanted to take this quick time out just to remind you, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so now. Why? Because we're putting out videos three times a week to help you level up your dating life, your personal life, every aspect of your life and that's what we're here to do and that's what we're gonna do so make sure that you subscribe like the video share it with somebody that you know needs to see it and i know that you know somebody that does in addition to all of that the last Saturday in July, we're going to be doing our monthly live Zoom event. And this month, we're going to be talking about overcoming your limiting beliefs. So all you got to do is register and show up. It's 100% free. Number three, get her social media. All right, now, normally, I'm all about getting a phone number over top of social medias, all right? But I think in this regard, I think this would be the safer route and probably the more strategic uh, way of going about it. And that would be, you know, exchanging social medias. Like, oh, you know what? You seem like really cool people. Let me follow you on Instagram. Send me a follow back. What's your, uh, what's your handle on there? You know, what's your name on there? Um, things like that. And now here's what is going to happen, okay? Now, a couple of things, all right? Firstly, you're going to find out where she lives in, in, you know, in, the, in the sense of if she lives anywhere near you. Because if she lives a thousand miles away from you or another country altogether, you know, it's probably not worth pursuing. Okay, But maybe you could start putting some of these teams together of only local people. You know, I, I mean, I really don't know how that would work or how that works, but maybe that's something that you can do depending on the game that you play. Okay, But here's the deal. Once you exchange social medias, now she can see a little bit more of your real life world, okay? You, basically what you're doing is you're taking her and implementing her in your world. She can see it, she can explore it, she's seeing the pictures of you doing cool things. And look, if your social media sucks, <laughs> you know, you want to probably you know, want to uh, take that up a few notches, you know, get out there and do some cool stuff and get pictures of it. So you have the content to put on your social medias, you know, because look, who doesn't want to be around cool people who do cool things? Everybody wants to be around cool people who do cool things. Okay. So if you are using your social media platform as a way to uh, present your life on a virtual billboard, so to speak, you want it to be the most appealing version of that as you can. Okay. So just keep that in mind, man, exchange those social medias and then move the conversation to there. Stay, keep it off the video game. I mean, you know, when you're talking in the video game, obviously that makes sense about the mission and so on and so forth. But all the real world stuff, bring it on over to social media. Okay. Now you could tell her in the game, hey, I just shot you a DM on uh, Instagram or on Snapchat or, or whatever else. Okay. Uh, just so she knows that it's there and it doesn't get buried in the thousand of d thousand DMs that she gets, okay? Let her know, like, oh, you, you got to open it up because I sent you this funny meme. You got to see this. You know, give her a reason to open that direct message, okay? All right, we're going to get number four. Let's go. Number four, bring it into the real world, okay? I, I talked about that a little bit in the last point, but I'm going to bring it up again, Okay. Uh, we're going to go a little bit deeper with it this time. So here's the deal. Now that you're talking through DMs and assuming that she lives somewhere within driving distance of you, okay, because again, she lives in another country, what's the point? But if she lives somewhat local to you that it, with this, within driving distance, okay, now here's the thing. Now that you've started talking to her in the real world and she's getting some of that real world experience that you have and she sees your reality and she wants to be a part of your reality and you see what's going on with her, her pictures with her friends, her pictures at the graduation party, her pictures when she went skydiving, whatever else, now you could start talking about more real world type stuff and get to know her a little bit better, a little more intimately, right? And now what you can do is, Go ahead and start having conversations with her. Send her voice messages, okay? Send her those. Uh, let her hear your voice and your tonality in a way that is different than the video game, all right? Because she knows you as 
whatever, whatever your name is on that game, now she knows you as who you actually are. Okay, so start being congruent with that. Start being your true self and present yourself in the best way that you possibly can that shows that you are that cool, attractive guy that she really needs to get to know. And you have a bonding experience with the video game. So you already have something in common that you like to do. So listen, in the video, we talked about kind of sprucing up your uh, social media. Well, we did a video uh, not that long ago on that very topic. So what I want you to do is go check that out because that is going to go super deep and break down how you can really bring your social medias to life and really let it be a billboard for who you are showing your best self. All right. So go check that video out and I will see you there.